So you found your dream home and you're about to start the conveyancing process. In this simple guide, we're gonna talk you through every step of the way. Hi, I'm Neil Quantic. I'm the CEO of Quantic Daily, the digital law firm for everyone, everywhere. The conveyancing system in England and Wales is far from perfect, but if you understand it, the whole process can be so much easier. In this simple guide, we're going to take you through each of the steps of the conveyancing process. And at the end, look how that fits in with other people, other professionals who are involved in that process so that the move can take place. So stick around and let's get stuck in. The first thing to happen is that the seller's solicitor prepares what's called a contract pack. That pack includes the contract itself, the contract, the document that will form the basis of the legal transaction, but it also includes various forms that the seller will complete to say what's staying at the property, various information about it, including have there been disputes with neighbours and so on. There'll also be various documentation, including things like guarantees for work done, fencer certificates for windows and so on. As a general rule of thumb, you can expect anything between one to three weeks for that pack to be prepared and sent to the buyer's solicitor. Your solicitor will generally undertake an initial review of that pack and assuming everything's okay, they'll give you the green light to go ahead with your searches. So stage two, searches. There are three main searches that your solicitor are likely to undertake for you. Local search, which will investigate things like planning, roadways and so on. The environmental search, which will look at things like contaminated land and flooding. And finally, water and drainage, which looks at how mains water gets to the property and how wastewater gets away from the property. Your solicitor is likely to inspect those documents and provide some sort of report, a summary if you like, a translation of what they say. With stage one, the contract pack, and stage two, your search is undertaken, we run into the final bit and probably the most frustrating bit for buyers, and that's called pre-contract inquiries or inquiries. It's the period prior to exchange of contracts where your solicitors will be asking and answering any queries that have come out of the contract pack and the searches. They may also be raising queries that might have come out of your survey and any other queries you have yourself about perhaps the physical nature of the property. The inquiries period is where likely the passage of time will exist. So the period during which things might feel a bit like they're dragging on. Stay in touch with your solicitor, make sure you know exactly what's going on, and that really does ease the pressure. For us at Quantic Daily, our aspiration is to always make sure you never need to ask us a question and that you always know what's going on. So that's the bulk of the legal process that's happened, but there's two critical other things that need to happen before exchange of contracts can take place. They involve other people. Firstly, money. You need the money available to put a deposit down on exchange and then complete by paying the balance. Most of us will take a mortgage when buying a new home and so a lender will be involved. You can liaise directly with the lender or go via an independent mortgage broker. You need to have completed all of the formalities ahead of exchange of contracts and it's for you to liaise with your lender, whether through a broker or not, and for you to secure your mortgage. Also alongside the legal process, you will need to have instructed a surveyor to inspect the bricks and mortar of the property. Is it everything you hope it to be? Are there any problems with it? Again, you will instruct your surveyor and it's for you to liaise directly with them, just as it is with your mortgage company and indeed with us as your solicitors. So the legal investigations are complete, the surveyor's done their bit and your money's ready. There's one final piece of the jigsaw so that exchange of contracts can take place and that's the dreaded property chain. What that means is that not only must the pieces of your own jigsaw be set, but those same pieces of jigsaws must be set for each and every property up and down the chain. So a chain is where there are related sales and purchases. It may start with a first time buyer buying a flat, they're buying their first main family home, right through maybe to somebody's going into a care home or a probate sale. And if you're caught in the middle of that, those transactions will be dependent on each other in terms of exchange happening and completion taking place. Your solicitor will only exchange contracts once having agreed it with you. The impact of exchange of contracts is that everybody is then legally bound to complete the sale. Prior to that, anybody can walk away with no consequences whatsoever, and that's part of the frustration of the conveyancing process. So on exchange, you will need to be ready with a 10% deposit. Your solicitor will have agreed with you the expected completion date, and that's the date you'll move. 
Your solicitor will deal with exchange of contracts. You will know it's happening and they'll confirm with you once done. At that point, the fun really begins. You can start to think about completion day, which is the day you move to your new home. Now it's time to book time off work, book your removals. If you're in rented accommodation, give notice. And of course, to start packing. On the day of completion is when the money exchanges hands between the seller and buyer's solicitor. Once that's completed and it's dependent on the banking system, they'll notify the estate agent who will release the keys to you as the new owner of your dream home. So there you have it, the conveyancing process in a nutshell. This guide could have, of course, gone on for hours and hours. It's essentially a complicated process. But choose your solicitor well and let them guide you through it. Hopefully this has given you a bare bones guide as to what's involved. We've got lots of other content being uploaded, including more detailed looks at each of the separate bits of the conveyancing process. So if you've liked the video, do please subscribe, maybe hit the bell and you'll get a notification as to when more content's coming. And if you are heading for the conveyancing process, happy moving.